In this video, we want to travel back in time to around 74,000 years ago when the island of Sumatra in Indonesia is cooking something underneath it. The volcano that was cooking under this island was named Mount Toba. You have to know that during this time, there were humans. Most of them lived in Africa, but there were people in Asia and Europe. But these ancient humans and animals don't know what's about to hit them because the tension underneath Sumatra is building up and around 74,000 years ago, it finally releases and explodes. And when this eruption happened, it changed the world forever. A lot of scientists and geologists believe that this volcanic eruption was one of the biggest explosion in Earth's recent history. After the explosion happened, the problems didn't stop there because it started spewing out ash everywhere. For two weeks straight, the thickest smoke and ash was being released to the atmosphere and each minute, over a million cubic meters of ash was being released. The sky above would get darker and the radius of this ash would expand. So much ash exits this volcano that it reaches Western Africa. That's how far it travels. The theory of Mount Toba basically started in the year 1990 when scientists and geologists were examining the islands of Indonesia to see what happened in Earth's history with the volcanoes that are present there. When they were experimenting in the island of Sumatra, they realized that there is a lot of volcanic activity, especially ancient ones underneath this island, and they calculated the last eruption around 74,000 years ago. When scientists also examine the Earth's population, especially in terms of humans, they see a sudden decline after this eruption. Based on their calculation, they realize that when the ancient humans suffered a heavy loss of population, there was a massive ice age as well. So this is when they came up with the theory that Mount Toba explodes, a lot of living organisms died, and the ashes that were exiting the volcano were so thick that they wouldn't let sunlight through, and that killed more animals and plants in return. And on the other side, it causes global cooling, and it causes a massive ice age. No normal ice age. This one lasts for tens of thousands of years. When scientists see before the explosion, meaning before 74,000 years ago, they immediately see a lot of global cooling and warming. And this happens very frequently, and it doesn't last more than 10,000 years. But when you go to Earth's history after 74,000 years ago, you see that the ice age lasts much longer than ever before. A lot of animals died because of this, but on the other side, a lot of plants actually survived, especially in the Indian Peninsula, a place that had a lot of plant life, and it was very close to the volcano itself. Experiments have showed that there is a lot of organisms, especially plants that lived in India before 100,000 years ago and after. So this shows us that these plants were extremely durable and during the ice age and all that ash, they survived through it and continued living on. When Mount Toba erupted, the safest place was in Central Africa because it had the least amount of ashes in the sky and it was fairly warm compared to the other sections because the earth was going through a massive ice age. And of course, in this area, there were a lot of humans but it's not like humans were extinct everywhere else because there were still people living in Western Asia and Europe. So they adapted to the cold temperatures. This is done by archeologists based on the tools humans were using. Because when they compared the tools humans in West Asia were using before 74,000 years ago, they were matching to after 74,000 years ago. 
And that means that knowledge of tool making in this area was not lost and it gradually got better and better. So in this situation, what is happening in Europe? If you've seen our video about Neanderthals, you'll know that most Neanderthals actually live in Europe rather than Africa because there is no Neanderthal fossils in Africa. So during this eruption, a lot of Neanderthals were living in Europe and they survived through it. Geologists believe that during this eruption, the worst place you can live is in Europe and of course Indonesia itself. It was much colder than anywhere else and it was heavily affected by the ash so a lot of the organisms died off. But of course on the other side of all this the Neanderthals are still living because they're one of the strongest types of humans and these Neanderthals lived until 30 to 40,000 years ago and then they finally go extinct. So their extinction had nothing to do with this volcano. But if you'd like to know more about how they went extinct, please watch our video about Neanderthals. One of the theories that scientists came up with on why trees and plant life didn't go extinct, especially in the Indian Peninsula, is because when the Toba volcano erupted, alongside the ashes and fire, it gave off steam and that means when it cools off, it turns into water. It's kind of like a boiling kettle where steam is getting off of it and that helped the plant life and trees to not die off and survive through it all. This steam doesn't allow the area to get too cold and of course it doesn't let it get too dry so the plant life survives. The most important evidence about this eruption is the population of humans back then and they even believe that we were on the edge of going extinct. Some scientists say that our population got as low as 2000 people and of course most of them were in Africa but a few of them were in Asia and Europe. But never expect scientists and geologists to pack up and leave because they figured something out. They're gonna continue studying it and trying to figure out new things about the world because you can never be certain about science. So there's always a chance that next year there's a new theory and kind of changes the ideology based on Mount Toba. For the next volcano you don't have to go far because in the state of Montana there is a massive volcano that's on the ground called the Yellowstone. The Yellowstone is very active and you could see its effect on the ground. A lot of scientists believe that if Yellowstone decides to erupt because it hasn't done it in a very long time, there is a chance the same fate of the Mount Toba eruption is gonna happen in modern times. Either way, the Earth is a living thing and it's always going through changes. One year is like this, and the next year it will be like another way. And that means you can never be safe. 